Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be setting up a simple deployment workflow for Ghost CMS. We're going to start off with our local installation and we're going to create a theme in the themes directory. This theme will then be deployed or pushed to the repository and this repository will have an action associated with it. That action is going to essentially listen out for any changes and when, when it does detect the change, it's going to post or push that code to the live server. So that's all we'll have to worry about is deploying from local to the repository and then our code will then appear automatically on the live. So to begin with, you're going to need to have an installation of Ghost on the server. If you haven't done that, there's a link in the description which talks you through step by step how to do it. And you're also going to need the Ghost TMS installation on the local. So without further ado, let's jump straight in and set up the repository. So you're going to need to log in to your GitHub account and uh, once you're in there you can go to the plus icon in the top right hand corner and then click new repository. I'm then going to name this something relevant so I would just say ghost, um, I'll say new ghost theme and I'm just going to leave that there. I'm then going to click private because I don't want anybody to be able to access this. And I'm just going to ignore the three steps at the bottom and click create repository. So once it's created, we're just going to want to keep this tab open and we're going to be using this URL later. Okay, so we're now going to want to set up a theme in our local ghost CMS installation. You can skip this step if you've already got a theme that you want to use. I'm just gonna head over to my VS Code and in the project folder, I'm gonna navigate to content themes. And then I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it new ghost theme. I like to name this the same as the repository just for consistency. And then within new ghost theme, I'm gonna create three files. One is gonna be package.json. The other is gonna be post.hbs and the other one's gonna be index.hps. I'm just gonna type in some random text here just to see that it works. And we're gonna also need to populate the package.json with some default um, parameters. So I'm just gonna write out the JavaScript object, and um, a JSON object, sorry. And I'm just gonna do name. This is gonna be the theme name. I'm gonna say new ghost theme. Then I'm going to give it a description. And I think we can just, this might be enough actually. So if we go back into the directory, what I'm going to do is, this is the root directory of my project. I'm just going to do ghost ls. This is going to show me all the instances instances of Ghost that are up and running. And it's going to give me the URL. So I'm just going to go to this address. I'm going to navigate to the admin area. I'm going to click design. And our theme is not going to be displaying yet. So what we need to do is we need to do Ghost Restart. Hopefully our theme will now appear. And I'm just going to click activate. I'm going to skip these errors because obviously this is not a theme development tutorial. And I'm then going to go to the main root directory of the site. And we can see that the template is now coming through. Okay, so we're now going to want to push the new theme folder to the GitHub repository. Um, I've already pushed my files to the repository, but the recording broke, so what you're going to want to do is go to the theme directory, run git init, and then set the um, origin, which is your GitHub um, URL, basically all the instructions that were on this page earlier. And then you just get um, git push, and then your file should appear within the repository. Once that's set up, you're going to want to go to your live installation of Ghost. So in my case, it's this, uh, this IP address. And we're going to go to add custom integration, click the button, 
Uh, we're just going to say um, deploy theme. I'm going to click create. I'm going to keep this tab open and I'm then going to go back to my repository. Click settings. On the left hand side, scroll down to integrations. Oh, actually, it might be deploy keys. Let me just check. Now it's actually secrets. I'm going to click um, new secret. And, oops, sorry. I'm just going to go back to this. I'm going to copy this um, long API key. And I'm going to create a, that's already there. I'm going to click uh, ghost admin API key. I'm going to paste that value in and click add secret. I'm then going to do the same for the other parameter, which was ghost admin API um, URL. And I'm going to go back to the live um, installation and I'm just going to take this IP address. This would probably be your URL um, if you're just using it on a normal website. I'm going to paste that in there and click add secret. There's a link in the description to the action. So if you click on the link, it's going to take you to this action page. And this action is essentially what's going to be deploying our code from the repository to the live server. Feel free to have a, um, like a read through. But for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm just going to go to the directory, my root directory in my code editor. And I'm just going to create a new folder. Let me just move this over. And it says here we need to make a folder called .github. Then within this folder, I'm going to create another folder called workflows. And within that, I'm going to make a file. I'm going to name it deploy theme .yml. And I'm just going to copy this um, action. I'm just going to paste that in and I'm going to click save. And I'm going to go back to the theme folder. I'm going to do git add dot to git commit. I'm do adding action. Oops, so I'm just going to do ls. I've created the folder in the wrong directory. So I'm just going to move um, this folder. I'm going to move into the uh, theme folder. I'm then going to do git add dot. I'm going to do git commit adding action. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to do git push. This is going to push the new file we've set up to the repository. And this is essentially going to run through the action and it should post our files to the live server. So if we go back into our uh, GitHub repository and click Actions, we can now see that it's deployed um, because there's a green tick on the left-hand side. So hopefully our theme should be on the live server. So if I click Design and scroll down, we can see new ghost themes appearing. Okay, so I'm just editing this video and I just want to point out, if you're not seeing the theme here, you're going to need to SSH into your live server and you're going to have to run ghost restart. So if I click activate and go back to the root directory, you can now see that our new theme is working. And just to show you the deployment work process all at once, just going to go back to my code and I'm going to change the index file to say this is now live. I'm going to save it, go back to my item to git add dot git commit testing again and do git push. I'm going to go back to my GitHub action, refresh. You can see that this is now um, yellow or orange. So it's running through the script, essentially, or it's in the queue. If 
Play it enter again. We're just waiting for this to turn green. We can go back to the live site. And our code is now live. Okay, and that completes the workflow. That's all you need to do now is push code to your repository and the repository and the action will handle the rest and deploy the code.